Welcome back to Dog and Roba V3. Last time, Counter had to go. God damn. It's it's one of those that you figure out so early on that you sort of come to terms with it by the end of it. But it's really just his like his inability to completely grasp what happened, and his just emotional aspect to it that the voice actor, who apparently is the same as Hakaguri. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, who just, yeah, pitch perfect to just tug at your heartstrings, because he's such a nice guy. Uh, okay, this time, apparently he's mourning, because both of them died. You know what, I'm not really sad about that, I gotta be honest. Yeah, so important. Oh, why did you have to die? Your lives were irreplaceable. Oh, suddenly so sad. <laughs> My grief is piling up like freshly fallen snow. It is sno it is snowing outside at the moment. I told them make the most of your life, cause you only get one shot at it. Um. Hypocrite. He has as many as he needs. Huh? Why don't you only give them one? That is a bit weird. If only they cared about their lives, they would have worked harder to earn my love. Uh huh. It's all their fault. Bad stuff always happens to kids whose parents don't love them. I mean. <laughs> but the more I think about it, he's not a hundred percent wrong. There's a little itty bitty bitty kernel of truth there. Why did those kids even exist? That's a good question. So they were your kids, right? What's an irreplaceable life anyway? Huh. That isn't all we're going to get for all my that's all we got. The fuck, man? Voice without oh shit. I missed part of that. I, I missed the end of that. The morning after Gunter was declared the blackened, we gathered in the dining hall, as always. <sighs> as always. No, how could that be? everything that happened yesterday. Even in such a dark time, one of us was still bright trying to cheer us all up. Jeez. Uh, Jeez, don't be stupid, guys. There's no way I'd die, you know? He's gonna die. I mean, because I'm Kaido Momoda, I'm Ga Kaido Momoda. Uh, Luminary of the Stars. Yeah. Hey. Are you really okay? Got it. I'm telling you, I'm just fine. Definitely. I was feeling great yesterday, but after a good night's sleep, I'm all better. Huh. I'm a hundred percent better now. Such bullshit. But. Uh, there's no way you could get better so quickly after coughing out that much. Ah. I told you, didn't I? I just coughed, uh, too much and cut my throat a little, that's all. Um... Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? Or suffering from a chronic illness? Idiot. Don't be stupid. If I had a chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance in astronaut training. What, did you hide that from them, too? Seriously, you guys are worrying too much. Just because you all love me and can't help your s <sighs> Of course we'd be worried. My bad. My bad. But I'm serious. You don't need to worry about me anymore. I should have told you guys I wasn't feeling well. I made you worry for nothing. 
come on, man. Uh, okay, okay, don't, don't glare at me like that. <laughs> if I do start to feel bad again, I'll have you guys help me, okay? No, that, that's out of the way. Let's eat. Come on, guys. Yeah, let's all eat. Well done. Uh, Kaido spoke uh, cheerily and then left to go get his meal. Um, is there really nothing wrong? Says the detective who obviously knows that there's something clearly, clearly wrong. With what I saw yesterday, how can I act like nothing's wrong? Hmm. Despite Kaido's remarks, he probably should receive medical attention just in case. I guess. Now we have another reason why we need to get out of here. Okay. On top of that, we need to do it fast. But... Escaping is all well and good, but what does the outside look like? I still don't know what the secret of the outside world is either. I suppose it was the flashback light thing. I think that's still somewhere and we could use it. Was it only one shot or, like, could you use it multiple times? I don't remember if they ever, uh, ever actually said that. Gonta wouldn't tell us what it was because it'd give us so much despair if we'd want to die. What was that? If that's true, then what could possibly be happening outside this academy? Hmm. Kata returned to the table, his hands full of food. I mean... Can't figure that out by just thinking about it. There's no point in wasting your brain power. But... But we can't simply not think about it. You know... Sure, there's a chance the outside world is messed up because of Monoguma. But making us worry about it is what Monokuma wants. He's using it to put pressure on us. Hiriji and Gonza just snapped under the pressure. The outside world is, you know, probably fine. You. You're such an automatrist. Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me, too? Uh... I think you mean optimist. I I think she was making a pun. But you know... Either way, that's uh, something to think about once we get outside, so focus on that now. Shuichi! Hmm, as a detective, what are your thoughts on this, Shuichi? Okay. I have considered a few theories, but I really can't say for sure. You're right. Well, that's understandable. There are barely any clues. Since the incident yesterday, Kaido won't look me in the eyes. What does he think I betrayed him because I didn't go along with his uh, baseless belief? Kaido, if you really believe in someone, then be willing to doubt them and believe that they'll come through the process as being declared innocent, okay? He must still be angry. But I had no choice. I had no other options. My detection wasn't wrong. If I had identified Gonta as the culprit, we would all be dead. For the rest of us to survive, Gonta had to be sacrificed. That, there's nothing I could do. Hey, so... I'm glad we're talking about how to escape, but where do you go? Considering there was one vote for Kokichi, I'm pretty sure it was you. Kokichi. Huh? Ah. The instant Kaida spoke his name, a nervous energy shot through us. No! I haven't seen him. Even if I did, I'd be the one running away. Hmm. I haven't seen him either. Psyche has completely vanished. Mm. He's apparently really good at hide and seek. So he's probably just hiding somewhere. Um. We can't just let that person be. He's a little too dangerous. No, not just a little. Because he... He enjoys watching us suffer. His face just screams that he's uh, having fun whenever he sees us suffer. He's not normal. There's obviously something wrong with him. Hmm. How annoying. If we weren't in this killing game, I would have assassinated him already. <sighs> Ironic. The rules of this game actually make it harder to kill. Hey! Maki roll. That's not good. Playing this killing game is just what Monokuma wants us to do. <sighs> I know. Yeah? yeah? Is Maki roll a nickname for Maki? Oh, that's a good nickname. <laughs> Makes me want to <laughs> take a bite out of her with soy sauce and spicy mustard. Right, Maki roll? <laughs> I, I, I'll take a bite out of you. I don't care if you glare at me, Maki. Sorry. Sorry, I guess I don't know how uh, close we are just yet. Hey! Hey, if we don't do anything, we'll be killed by Kyokichi next. Nah. I don't think he'll kill anyone until it's just him left. Well, until it's just him and maybe someone to kill left. Uh, 
I bet even now he's hiding somewhere and plotting against us. No. No, actually, we're safe right now. Kokichi told us that his objective was to win the killing game. He wouldn't risk a murder that would so obviously implicate him. But... But he might be planning to make us suffer some other way. I like how he used Gonta. Anyway, we need to find him as soon as... And so he... No, Monokuma. I was expecting Kokichi to pop in. Here I am! Yeah. Yeah, Monokuma! Why? What are you doing here? <laughs> I've got business with you guys, of course. Oh, our prizes for the... He said our stuff. What's the point? It's our prize, right? Hurry up and give it to us. Okay. Can do. Mm. You're being awfully compliant. Oh, yeah. Of course, I can't refuse y'all. Not when I'm all alone and outnumbered. Huh? Outnumbered. Well. Um, but I'm used to being all alone. Back in the day, I was alone from start to finish. <laughs> anyway, easy prize this time. That's not technically true. You get okay. Two this one is the last real key, and this one is the real last key! Huh. Well, what's the difference? Uh... Well, uh... Now then. now then, go find the areas that these keys will unlock. Bye bye. See you later! Mayanara. Huh. Technically, in both games, he had some sort of, even if it was less willing, um, company to share. In both of them at some point. So, what should we do about this new area? I, I think we should prioritize searching for that new area over searching for Kukichi. It likely contains a flashback light, and we may discover some new facts. Why you? So you're saying humans are low priority? Typical for a bloodless, tearless machine, man. Um. Ho, 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 ho. I'm not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. Hey. What do you want to do, Kaido? I I'm just saying, maybe it wasn't a joke. <laughs> I'm almost thinking Kyokichi's robophobia is starting to rub off on everyone. I mean, to an extent. Uh, it already rubbed off on uh, Shuichi somewhat. Yeah. I'm worried about Kyokichi, but no, there's no point in worrying about him all the time. All right, my first priority is to solve the mystery of this academy. Let's investigate. Then... Ah, all right, now hold on to that. Uh, okay. Oh, that's right. Without meeting my eyes, Kaido placed the key into my palm. Mm -hmm. Kaido, Shuichi, what's the matter? You both seem different today. Well... Read the mood, Kibo. It's fine, so let's go already. We split up and begin our search. Uh, and Maki takes Kaido's side. Mmm... Oh, I forgot that place even existed. That room over there. I assume there's six chapters in this one. Like all the other ones. Hmm. Yeah, this one probably opened something. What do you think, Maki? I don't like Kaido anymore, so... Hey. I wonder where Kukichi is. There are only so many places he can hide. No. I'm not sure. It is possible that he's always uh, on the move to avoid being caught. That punk. The guy is really twisted if he enjoys people suffering that much. It's also the possibility he's just in his room constantly. It's not the easiest place to hide and no one ever to find you. <sighs> but I'm not any better. I take people's lives for a living. Hey! Oh, don't say that, Makiro. You're facing your past self. Unlike Hirobichi, he doesn't even want to try and change. That's the worst decision you can make. You're right. True. Oh, yeah, so... Ah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm sorry, Maki. Uh, but I, I can't change him. I, I'm trying, Maki. I'm trying. Oh, my goodness. Um, probably this one. It's unlocked. All right, let's go. The key is still here. Can it be used for something else? Huh. That's a fair point. I wonder if it could. Spiral staircase. I can see a spiral staircase. It looks pretty long. Where is the staircase lean? And what the hell is up with this corridor? That's so funky. It's like sci-fi into... Not so... Uh, it's a little, still a little sci-fi in here. This is a... This is weird, man. Huh. Ooh. This is a pretty long staircase. Where does it lean? 
Uh, what if it's endless? It'd be funny if it was endless. Ah, finally reached the top. Feels as though there's something there. Best be cautious. Uh, well, let's not jump. This feels like a really nice place to kill someone. You just gotta push and dead. Yeah, calling it. This is this not the ultimate lab? Oh, it's the astronaut it. one. Kaido, finally, you're up to die in this next chapter. High five. You have a chance to die now. Yay. Finally, it looks like this is my research lab. Ah, oh, Kaido. Oh, the stairs are long and such a pain. I'm tired. So I'm give me a piggyback ride. I managed to climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronauts to lab. Hey! What do you mean, just? This is the main stage and it's finally been revealed. Hey! I'm tired. Hey, someone give me a piggyback ride. Hey. Anyway, let's go inside. There might be something useful in here. Probably. Don't screw around! What do you mean, probably? Oh, it's gotta be full of super important stuff. Here's the thing, Kaido. Every single research lab so far has at least been, uh... Well, not every single one. I'm, I'm mainly thinking of Ryoma's, in that it had the prisoner theme to it somewhat as well. So if you... If you have something you're hiding, this might reveal it. Hey! Hey, isn't anyone gonna give me a piggyback ride? Shut up! Shut up! I'm not gonna give you a piggyback ride. Um, uh, let's go inside then. You know, Himiko, I'm actually feeling sort of generous today. I'd give you a piggyback ride. But I'm not gonna say shit. Well, this is stupid. I I'm just looking at the layout in this, and how does this help you perfect being a, uh, astronaut? What, is it zero G out here? They managed to climb all these stairs just for a room that looks like a playground. I feel like this is a huge waste of time, but let's look around for anything useful. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, how does someone look me in the eyes? Hmm. Talking to him is going to be awkward. Yay. See anything, Himiko? Hey. How about you give me a piggyback ride on the way back down the stairs? She's still saying that. And <laughs> I just don't respond. Just can ignore you. It's like a large machine, perhaps for a planetarium. Uh, you can reject stars on the ceiling of this. It's quite the facility. Hmm. Uh. I suppose the cockpit and the window are the main things. This is amazing. It looks like a cockpit out of a spaceship. It's pretty cool. Perfect for my research lab. You. You can operate this. I mean, it's probably just a simulator, but... Yeah, but I've never seen this machine, but I've trained something like it. Have you? Got it. Well, I guess it'll all work out. I'm totally not, I'm, I'm not convinced that you're actually the ultimate astronaut yet. I really am not. <sighs> what reckless confidence. I don't ever want to be in any vehicle you're driving. You know... But, wow, is this really a simulator? It feels too elaborate. Nah. nah, no way it's real. I mean, what would it even operate? Uh, that's for voting at that moment. Hey. Hey, come look at this. You don't think we're like, not like on the moon, but we're like in a spaceship. And this whole place is one big spaceship that's been under construction. And this like, is used to fly it. Anyone sort of getting that idea? I'm getting that idea. Hey, come look at this. Huh? Hmm. Is something wrong? Well... Found this in the bag. Huh? Huh. What is this? A file? The Gopher Project. Huh. Countries from all over the world work together to create a, uh, to create a meteorite defense plan. But none of us can remember the details of that. Hmm. Huh. So this file has information about the project. What? So, what does it say? Hold on, I'll read it. Uh, um. Let's see. The Gopher Project. Let's hope to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. Burden with the imperative. Uh, this imperative project are boys and girls with, uh, of exceptional talent. That is the purpose of the Gopher Project. Hey. Well, what about the rest of it? What does it say? Hey. Oh, Zaza, let's just say it already. Well, that's... The rest is blacked out. I can't read any further. God damn, that's like nothing. 
So it's just saying that, like, the Ultimates were connected to this Gopher project in some way. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you say? Which makes my idea about the Gopher project being uh, a failure, meaning that it got hijacked by people. And it turned into the Ultimate Hunt somehow. Oh, uh, what did yeah. he say? Did Monokuma do this? Oh, damn it, he's just screwing with us. Hey. Do you think this part about, uh, boys and girls of exceptional talent is referring to us? Hey. And what could the Seas of Future Hope mean? Well, if you're dealing with a meteorite storm that's destroying the world, presumably it's the restarting civilization. And let's say this place is like a spaceship, and we're being sent off to some place. Maybe that's how it works. Hmm. Maybe we're on a spaceship, and the whole Adam and Eve thing is sort of going down to who's the um, who's the most exceptional? Who gets to be the people who get to start this new society? From Adam and Adam and Eve sort of thing going on. And what's this about the new world? Is this? Hmm. Is this like Noah's Ark? Huh? Huh? Noah's Ark. Because. Well, Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. Huh? I never heard of that before. Not that I'm very well. Uh, not that I'm very knowledgeable about any of that sort of stuff. But. So. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you're right. Okay. Of course, it's just a story from the Bible. Let's uh, choose that name in particular. Hmm. It does seem related. But how is all this related to the Academy, to us? Yeah. <laughs> None of that makes any sense. Well... If we find the next flashback of light, we might be able to remember something about it. Hmm. You know, Kikichi did say the thing about getting one more flashback of light being the thing that'll put everything together. And it might have been the last one. He might have been referring to the last one, even. Hmm. <laughs> Now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem like it's in this lab. Right. So it must be somewhere else. We gotta look for it first. That's true. Hmm. You're right. This place is useless to us now. So... I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Because we gotta find the flashback light. Isn't there still... Okay. Flashback light, our last hope. But something that Monokuma created. I don't depend on something that Monokuma has touched. But there's nothing we can do. There's no, uh, no other way to store our memories. I mean, he's obviously fitting his information as he chooses it to be important to whatever his agenda is, but... Don't have much of a choice. The window looks down at the school building in the courtyard. There's nothing above, it seems like it's the top floor. Hmm, okay. Cool. Well, there's something else over here at the very least. Ah, uh, we do have a door with a thing. Ah, uh, this one actually seems more relevant, so... At least to this... Hmm. Huh, the key works, but it won't turn. Could it be sicking? Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Run, 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 run. Seems uh, sensing danger, I hurriedly backed away from the door and then. Oh, you fucking would. Oh, and look at that, it looks like an ultimate lab. It exploded. A trap? Well, that was dangerous. Hmm. I could have really been hurt. And if that's the ultimate lab I'm thinking it is, then Yeah. Okay, I guess we got rid of the key now. From the look at this door, it must be an ultimate lab. Whose lab is this? There are only a few of us left who don't have a lab yet. All right. I should check inside. When I turn the knob... Well, I suppose Rontoro, uh, Rontoro still hasn't had a lab, even though he's dead. Hmm. Huh. It won't open. Uh... Oh, hey, Monokuma. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that research lab is closed because the owner is dead. Huh? The owner is dead. Hey. Uh, the rules of Sentai's for the ultimate research lab is open, and the lab will remain closed. That's, that's the first time I'm. That's the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah. That's just the first time I mentioned it. There's no point in complaining, to Monokuma. This is his academy. Anyway, this lab belongs to uh, someone who died. Then... Is this Rantaro's lab? How disappointing! You know what his talent was if it, uh, if what you know what his talent was if he went into his lab. Hmm. I want to take a closer look to the thing on the outside. <laughs> It'd be quite dramatic development if you learn what his talent is uh, was right now. Huh? What does that mean? Hmm? So yes, yeah, so what does that mean? That well, sort of unexpected truth. development can only happen in a real killing game like this one. Oh, no. uh, what a waste! I can't believe that idiot killed him. 
Don't call Kaede an idiot. See, at this point, I'd say murder. Gangster? No. Because I see, like, a mace. I see blood smears. It's all red. I see a bat with nails. I see knives. I see what looks like a cleaver. I'd almost say serial killer. We're on to his lab. I'm curious about his talent, but... Nah, it's too late now. Yeah, a look... I, I mean... Definitely looks like it. Holy moly. Ah, more changes out here. The greener, uh, greenery is completely gone. The place feels real mechanical now. It looks like uh, construction is almost done, though. But what happens then? I don't know, it looks sort of the same. Hmm. An ultimate academy, the likes of which we've never seen before. Will we ever find out what that means? Uh. Part of this that I'm still not sure about is that if this is supposed to be a soft reboot, does that mean the origins of, like, say, Monokuma and stuff get rebooted too? Oh, shit, I don't even... I didn't even remember this. Huh. It looks like a door, but I don't think I could open this with my bare hands. What, I can't try the... Okay. I guess we have another place that's still... Oh, 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 oh there's a thing out front. Oh, that does have a little key on it. Okay. Rum, 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 clack. That sound. Was that the giant door unlocking? Uh, can I go in now? I guess I can. I don't want to, like, animated opening or anything like that. <laughs> oh, my. Ah, oh, what is this place? This is... I feel like I'm on the set of a sci-fi movie. A mecha could pop out at any moment. Ha! <laughs> it took every ounce of my strength to hold it in what I wanted to, to say. Come on, Kipo. Oh, this seems... What the hell is this place? It feels like a dungeon. Like a JRPG dungeon, in terms of its layout. This is different from the other places we've seen so far. This maze-like hallway. Perhaps it's to defend the building that uh, it leads to. You know, that would sort of remind me of the Ultimate Supreme Leader. I, I would not be surprised if the Ultimate Supreme Leader's uh, Ultimate Lab had this sort of defensive maze-like bullshit. It actually would sort of make sense, because he likes toying with people so much. Huh. What is this? The shutter is huge. This is... It seems to be well fortified. Hmm. This is, uh, that is an electric barrier. You can't raise the shutter while it's active. Hey! Hmm. If they're protecting it uh, this strongly, there must be some secret in there. Yes. That is a possibility. Let us investigate to see if we can get in. Oh. Well, maybe it's even a door to the outside. Wait, it's dangerous. Don't. Before I could finish my warning, people approach the shutter and. What is this? Kibo. Kibo, get away from. Hey! Oh my. It's just, just, just don't you go setting off the alarm now. Come on, come on. Out of the way so I can turn off the alarm. Okay. Jeez, you guys gotta be more careful. Be careful. What's that alarm for? It's so loud. Oh, it's the alarm system. Yeah, but what does that mean? See, you see that motion sensor alarm about the shutter? Oh, that's gonna be important. In order to turn it off, you need to use an alarm remote. A super loud alarm will blare if you approach the shutter without turning off the system. Why? But why is there an alarm system here of all places? <laughs> this place is so important that it needs beefed up security. And I guess while I'm here, I'll also explain the electric barrier. To turn it off, you gotta enter a 59-digit code in the control panel next to the shutter. I'll tell you what the code is, but only once. Make sure you memorize it. I can write shit down. Okay. That's not 59 digits, though. I assume he's getting cut off, and I won't get the whole thing, so there's no points. Plus, I have... I have a log. Ha 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 ha! Wait, wait, slow down, please. 503... What was the rest? <laughs> only three numbers? Come on, robot. I know you can do better than that. Electric barrier and alarm system. That is pretty tight security. Why? 
What are they guarding so closely? What could be in there? Here. Well, my best guess would be it would be the exit to this place. Like I said, this is a very important place. Well, it used to be swinging. important. That was a long time ago. Now it's just pointless. Huh? Huh. Pointless. Yeah. Yeah. It's pointless. So I may as well give you guys the alarm remote. You can use it to turn off the motion sensor alarm about the shutter. Huh. So if it's a very important place, uh, or it used to be an important place, that would imply that this... Uh, right now my theory would be that this place used to be... Uh, was initially used for the Gopher Project. And it was something important to the Gopher Project, but not to this killing game. Hmm. See? It turned off the alarm system, didn't it? Now, just use the control panel to deactivate the electric barrier. You can go inside. Uh, can you repeat the code that you mentioned earlier? Huh? How annoying, but since it's your first visit, I'll just let you uh, inside just this once. Monokuma walked up to the control panel, quickly punched in the numbers, and... Okay. okay, now you can just manually reach the shutter and you can go inside. You can e either use the control panel inside to restore the alarm systems and electric barrier, uh, or just use the control panel out here, or do nothing. Huh, and the barrier alarm will stay off. Then. Well then, safe travels. Hmm... He just led us into this highly secured area. What is his game? Shuichi. I can't be the entrance exit thing going on. That would be interesting. Let's go, Shuichi. We have no other direction but to move but forward. My inner voice is telling me. Hope moves forward. Damn, why do you have an inner voice? It makes you sound crazy. Is it just your like the equivalent of thoughts? In the same way that way? Uh, Angie had Atua speaking to her that I, I would I'm I'm not confident but I would not be shocked in the slides if it was just her like normal inner voice like the same monologue we all have in our heads okay yeah you're right okay not much of a mystery to be answered so crew exosol hangar uh, that's why it's not important anymore okay ah over there it's uh. An Exosol. So the Exosols were actually built into this place. Okay. You think we're gonna use these? Um, all five of them are here? Oh, it's too dangerous. Let's run. Wait a second. They aren't moving. They're not reacting to us and the lights are off. That's right. Oh, now that you mention it, you're right. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> Surprise! This is actually the Exosol hangar. Yep, this is where the Exosols are stored. A facility for storing Exosols. Hey, um... This is where I was guarding the precious Exosols so no one would mess with them. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, uh, that's pointless now. Is it because the Monocubs are gone? No one can control the Exosols anymore? Huh? What? No one can control them anymore? Huh? Am I wrong? Well, well. Oh, don't worry about my reaction just now. Hmm. You don't want to give a straight answer because I probably could. I thought of a, I thought a somewhat over-the-top reaction put you guys on the defensive. Do not mock what does that mean? No, oh, no, don't get so worked up. Maybe a machine, but you're not a demon model. Oh my. Oh, the deactivated exosols. Is this hangar pointless now that the monocubs are gone? Doubtful. The fact that we. Uh, the fact that they wouldn't give a straight answer means it's probably can be still be used by people. If that's true, there's nothing threatening us anymore. Hmm. Is there even a rule against killing more than two people? Ah, this control panel. That's... This is most likely the control panel for the alarm system and the electric barrier. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like it. There's no reason to turn the barrier back on, so we shouldn't touch it. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that because I don't have the 59 digit code to deactiva uh, de uh, deactivate it memorized? Because all robots can memorize more than three digits. Is that what. <laughs> is that what you're implying? No. No. Oh my. So easily. Green, yellow, red. They look all sort of the same color. Why is this one. Why are any of them lower? All five exes are being stored here. No, they aren't moving. Oh, no. Uh -huh. It's a bit weird that those are uh, higher up. This is a huge, powerful machine. That's. 
This hydraulic press is probably used to scrap decommissioned exosols. Huh? Scrap them? Yeah. Yes, even the exosols could not withstand being crushed by a giant metal sta uh, slab. Right. True. By the way. Also, it seems you can control the hydraulic press by using the control panel over there. Man, hmm. so many places for people to get killed this time. There's an up and down button, as well as an emergency stop button. There's also a safety notice written here. The hydraulic press has an infrared sensor. When it uh, detects a living being, it automatically stops for safety reasons. If that's true. If someone accidentally ended up in the press, the machine would stop. Um. What do you think, Shuichi? Huh? Uh, the sa uh, safety function? I don't know. Well then. Let's give it a try. Uh. uh try what? As I stood there, Kibo suddenly got under the press. You're not living, though, technically. Wait. Do you count? Uh. Shuichi, please. Have you malfunctioned? <laughs> please what? If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person, what will happen if it detects me? Is this just about your, like, ego at this point? Let's find out. Are you sure about that? I don't know if the sensor will work. Don't worry. If I sense any danger, I'll move out of the way. With your uh, superhuman reflexes, right? I just really want to try it out. If I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. <laughs> He's not going to change his mind about this. Okay. Okay, let's do it. But get out of there if it's dangerous, okay? Certainly. Now, if you would be so kind, start it up. Convinced by Kiba's enthusiasm, I press the button. And then... Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, no. That was a close one. Wait. Yes, it was. Why did you do that? Why? Why didn't you press the four stop button, Shuichi? It's not my fault. But, but uh, at least we know now. I, it seems I'm not. Uh, I'm only perceived as a machine, not a human. For now. Well, so this hydraulic press, that is. You're right. Ah, yes. I mean, we should probably test it with the actual humans to make sure it actually works, right? Right. Hey, Kaido, get in here. You're enthusiastic, right? Oh man, if only Gonta was still alive. He'd be all up for doing that. Uh, it looks like a car wash. Is it for cleaning the exosols? Seems comfortable. Comfortable, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting way to phrase it. And uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. What is this door? Huh. Ah. It. This is a bathroom. It doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. Well. I suppose that makes sense. I'm sure I'm the first person to be in here for a while. Monokuma and the Monokup certainly don't need to use the bathroom. But then, why is there a bathroom here in the first place? If they were under the impression that they'd never be here, why would they make a bathroom? Hmm. Does that mean I was wrong? Well, there's nothing that concerns me here, uh, so I'll go back. If you say so, Shuichi. That's a weird toilet, though. That whole area sort of reminded me of... I don't know why, at first, it, the first thing that came to mind when I saw the area was, um... Uh, like, the helmet thing, like, in the memories, like, like when Shuichi was like, I want to die with everyone else, that sort of thing. Oh, there's a painting machine that's sort of blended in there. This huge machine has several moving arms. What is this used for? This is... This machine has probably used to paint the exosols. You're right. Alright, it does smell kind of like paint thinner. Um... Which means I could potentially use the machine to give myself a makeover. No. Uh, I don't think you need a makeover. You're great just the way you are, Kibo. Yeah. Well, of course I am. Then why bring it up? Oh my goodness. You're like an eating house? I've investigated everything here. This is definitely a hangar for the Exosols, but they're deactivated. Monokuma might be right. This place no longer has any purpose. Hey, Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi, there you are. I was looking for you. Hey, Himiko. I had to wait for your voice. Hey. Hey, come to the dining hall. Samugi says she wants everyone to meet there. Huh? Huh? Samugi. Right. She told me she found something. It's probably the flashback light. Interesting. 
I haven't actually seen her in any of mine. So where did she go off to? Hmm. Okay. Anyway, come as soon as you can. I'm gonna go on ahead. Huh. The next flashback light. What will we remember this time? All right. I should head to the dining hall. Same with you, Kiba. Hmm. So where did you search, Sumugi? I didn't see you anywhere. Is everyone here? Guys, that's serious. Oh. Yeah, you found the flashback light, didn't you? Let's use it already. What? Oh, sorry. It's not the flashback light. Huh? It's not. I just thought that this was all, all this was about. What's that? Why did you all us out here? I had to go to the bathroom. No. I found something pretty serious. I thought I should tell everyone right away. Pretty serious. Oh, is it Kokichi's like little message that he's been leaving on that rock, probably to fuck with us? Like, oh, this is like that. That, that was interesting, primarily because I'm I'm pretty sure he's been purposely just leaving that there to fuck with us and thinking, oh, it's a clue. But he's just the one filling it in over time. And potentially manipulating Gyonta and defining it and telling us. Um, so, what did he find? It's from the letters Gyonta found in the courtyard. There's more added to them again. Huh? The letters in the courtyard? Yeah. Looks like the message is complete now. We can finally read it. And it says. Uh, this world is mine. This world is mine. This world is mine. Kokichi Oma. That's what's written there. Yeah, one thing I was wondering is like... I didn't really... What? Remember his name very well. So one thing I wanted to double check when I thought about it a bit more. So make sure that was actually... I know Kokichi's right. Yeah, okay. So it's his proper name all the way through. Well, this world is mine. What's, that What's going mean? on? Why is Kokichi's name? Yeah. Huh. So that's what it means. It's all just a prank by Kokichi. Possibly. It seems metaphorical. It definitely could be him trolling us, basically. Huh? A prank. Ah. He kept adding to that message just so he could make fun of us. Seriously. What a messed up guy. Yeah, I see. That definitely seems like something Yogichi would do. At the same time, kind of so anti Kokichi. Is it just his attitude over time has built up into some. I mean, I'm not saying we should be pro Kokichi. I'm, well, I am sort of saying we should be pro Kokichi because Kokichi's funny. Um, in a way. Uh, <laughs> but at the same time, it's almost suspicious how passionate and one. Like. Even with the Gonta thing, it's like, shit. That is true, but is that all there is to it? Hmm. Gonta had first found the writing. All it said was, Horse A. Have a time, and there's letter added. Hmm. Eventually, it read, uh, So, where does my Kukichi Oma? Hmm. It does seem like it's consistent handwriting at the very least. Can't really just ascribe it to Kokichi's pranks. You know. Well, who cares about Kokichi? More importantly, what about the flashback light? Hmm. Seems no one has found it yet. Hmm. Maybe that's Kokichi's fault too. He probably found it first and hid it. I see. Hmm. That is possible. Like I we need to do something and find him. Nah. No, there's no team, uh, no need to bother with him. The best way to deal with guys like him is to ignore them. Let's just leave him be. What's wrong? You say that, but you're the angriest out of all of us. Nah. Oh, well, there was something I was just thinking about. What? Thinking about? I mean, it's still a little too early to tell you guys, but leave it. Ah, to just me. leave it to me. There's no need for you guys to worry. Oh God, are you planning to kill him? Uh, I'll figure it all out. Definitely. What are you talking about? Figure out about? what? I mean, I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Kaido is going to get us out of here. Oh, there's that reckless confidence again. Huh? Miraculous. <laughs> you guys just don't get it. Jeez, heroes are always misunderstood. Hey. Hero or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just don't offer to do it. Of course. <laughs> Leave it to me. Huh. Oh, that's nice. Perhaps Kaido's confidence is baseless. That seems considerably more likely than not. It's. 
but it's sort of a relief to have someone so confident in a time like this. A hero. He might really be one. <laughs> we weren't able to find a flashback of light, so we all left the dining hall. And returned to our rooms. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> There's still some time left to do. What should I do? I could. I could. You know. Head over to the casino and get that key of love. There we go. And 200 left over. Uh, I'm not sure how this works. So I I think this is supposed to give extra scenes. I don't know if it's something that I have to stumble upon. Uh, no, or if it's something that like activates automatically or if I have to use it or something. All I know about is that it's supposed to activate extra scenes. Potentially funny scenes or weird scenes. I don't know. I guess we'll see. And... Purchase. Now what? Admittedly, I don't really know what to do with this. I mean, take a few guesses, like going over to, I assume, this place. I'm not sure I like the implication, and... Okay. I guess I should look up how it works. So, Thingamabob says that it activates at, quote-unquote, nighttime. Okay. I guess I'll go hang out with someone. And... Or maybe I should just rest in my room until I'm confident that this is the way I want to go. <laughs> until I'm confident in exactly which... Well, I know exactly which one I want to do, but I want to do multiple ones of them. And I don't know if it's used up uh, immediately, so... I guess we'll see. Ah, oh, there's double. It's double? Oh... It's gonna make this all the more frustrating. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I wanna see when it activates too. I'll just load and redo these. And... Yeah. <coughs> Ultimate this Academy, is Nighttime the Gun, it's been a while since we had one just from him. Huh, okay. It's night time. I would have been training. Huh? Well... Ah... Uh, maybe I should just do the free time events. And then save at this point. Because this seems like a decent point to save at. Hi, Kaido. Do I want to hang out with you? No. But I want to see how awkward it still is. It's no use. It's no use. I don't even know what to say to him. I can't even hang out with you even if I wanted to. Nice. I saw Maki was here too, apparently. I figured you two would be together. But apparently not. So, what do you think of all this? Jeez. Tries to look cool by calling himself a hero. Oh, did he call himself a hero? Huh. But whenever he does something reckless, we have to clean up after him. Should I hang out with Maki, bro? I mean, I'd like to. But I already have her underwear. That's all the things I need. Uh, have I even started on anyone else that isn't dead yet? I did start on Kibo. Uh... So it's basically... Kaido, Kibo, or... I guess Himigo. Yeah, let's go. Let's go spend some time with uh, Kibo. He seems like someone who's going to die soon, doesn't he? There's no flashback of light, unless we miss it somehow. Should I hang out with Kibo for a while? Yeah, sure. Well then. And then please help me look for the flashback of light. Uh, the way things are now, the situation will never change. I wonder if I could even find Kyokichi and hang out with him. I spent some time looking for the flashback of light with Kibo. Yeah, probably not much of luck. Keep an eye here a little closer today. We like to give Kibo a present. Yeah, sure. Uh, I had like oil or some shit, didn't I? Should I give him something that? I wonder if he'd hate that sort of stuff, or if he'd actually enjoy it. I thought 
thought I had... Yeah, I already gave that to someone at some point. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, Kiba doesn't have much that he actually likes. That's weird. Um, seems like you like this, though. A weathercock that imitates the Portuguese rooster of Barcelos. Symbol of uh, the truth. This is a popular souvenir from Portugal. Seems like he's apparently like this. This is... This is quite a fascinating item. Are you sure I can have it? Hmm. I wish I could give you something in return, but I have nothing to give. I'm sorry. Shuichi. So you come to talk to me again. It has been a while. It has indeed been a while. You must be very fascinated by me, Shuichi. This is understandable. In all, uh, in all the world, there is no other robot as impressive as I am. Why does he talk to me like that? Although I suppose it is true that his technology is pretty amazing. Very human-like. Um. Hey, Akibo. You said your father's Professor uh, Itabashi, right? Do you know why he made you? That's... The professor told me that I am sum total of his research. The entirety of his knowledge, technology, and expertise in the field of robotic engineering. Closely. All applied to create a robot more human than any that has come before. That is what I'm told. He said, I am the culmination of his life's work. But I was not truly born until an incident occurred that the professor did not predict. Huh? An incident? I... My strong AI was programmed such that my mental age would reflect my appearance. But unlike now... My AI was only capable of displaying a very narrow spectrum of human emotion. In response, the professor treated me uh, the way a father would treat his son. But things did not improve. Oh. One day, a few years later, an accident occurred during a routine experiment. My programming went rogue and I ended up seriously injuring the professor. Huh? Why? But... Fortunately, the professor survived his injury. But I died that day. Huh? Died? I... When I hit the professor, I was overcome by an emotional response known as sadness. The first law of robotics states, a robot must not harm a human being. Though I wasn't punished for violating that rule, I nevertheless, fe uh, nevertheless felt sadness. I blame myself for hurting my father. In doing so, I was overcome with guilt. Okay. This is... This is what it feels like to have human emotions. Okay. I... At that moment, my AI suddenly reset, and I became not unlike a newborn infant. I see, so that's what he means by he died. Yes. Perhaps I simply want to be reborn as Professor Sun again. That's what the professor concluded, and he raised me as, own, uh, as his own child. By the way, to tell you the truth, my memories were deleted when my AI resets. So I learned all the second hand from the professor. Um, so you never actually felt the guilt or sadness? Well, who knows what exactly happened? I had no idea he'd experienced something so incredible. Should we do something wrong? No. Ah, well, um, how do I put this? I was just thinking, you really are the ultimate robot. Professor, uh, to Professor Itabachi, Kibo's more than just a robot. And I'm sure that for Kibo, the professor hey! is... Uh, what does that mean? Do you hold me in contempt now because I am a robot? How rude. Please reconsider your attitude towards me in the future. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. Got it, Kibo. So quick to get offended. I listen to Kiva's stories about the professor, then return to my room. Okay. I do got one more. I suppose at this point I'm still most interested in Kiva. I saw some time. What should I do? Hurry at high mass. Hmm. What are you doing over here? You know, Monokuma hasn't presented us with a motive yet. What is he plotting? Should I hang out with Kibo for a while? Maybe he presumes he doesn't need to. Perhaps he's expecting Kokichi to act on his own without he, uh, even needing a motive. Maybe we should look for Kokichi. Kibo and I spent some time looking for Kokichi. Yeah, I don't think... Hmm, I am wondering how this is gonna go. Kokichi's such a wild card. Exactly what he's planning is... Interesting. Kibo and I grew a little uh, a little bit closer today. We would like to give him a present. Yeah, sure. And so like as I noticed this uh, when I was looking, trying to find anything for the last one. Apparently, the jelly beans... Our jelly... Balls are good. Squishy, colorful beads that are swell to marvel size when one. Beautiful decoration and gardening. Lining up to four of the same color won't make them vanish. Would it normally make them vanish? 
I mean, that's a weird way to market it. Thank you very much. Look at all this nice food. Having four slices of bologna on one, uh, one slice of bread won't make any of those slices vanish. This is nice. It aligns to my preferences. You understand me. I feel happy. Shuichi. Huh. Shuichi, may I ask you for advice concerning a particular matter? Uh, um... Advice? Uh, yeah, sure you want to ask me. Yes. Yes, in fact, you're the only one I can talk about. To, uh, talk to about this matter. Hmm. The only one. Um... Neat. The question has been on, uh, on my mind for a while now. Do you think I'm merely... Uh, you think I'm merely ordinary despite being a robot? Well... Or being the ultimate robot? No, you don't even need to answer. Compared to everyone else, I feel rather ordinary. Then why ask? If I must. So I've been thinking that I need to address this somehow by taking action. Suichi, I intend to launch a robot business. A robot business? Indeed. Yes, I'm going to launch a business that takes full advantage of my robot capabilities. Like what? That's why I'm going to work to become a pop star robot. Uh, um... A... A pop star? Uh, why that? Closely. I arrived at the decision after analyzing many options. The main reason is that robots have yet to advance in the pop music genre. I don't think they're, uh, they've advanced in any music genre, but okay. For now. On the subject of pop stars, singing is what they're uh, mostly known for. No, it's uh, their looks. It really is their looks. That's... For pop stars, it's their looks. Because it's pop. It's the stuff that's super popular. There's other stuff that probably is very similar genre-wise, but that's more about the singing or the dancing. But yeah, hmm. it looks, huh? I suppose I could alter my appearance to a certain extent. But... Listen, but I don't want to change how the professor designed me. Singing is how I will stand out. Well, now, if you say so, I'm going to sing for you now. Please tell me what you okay. think. All right, sure. I would soon regret those words. Uh... Ha! This is singing, we will sing all the singing days today. He was expression while singing was so peaceful, so joyous. Uh, 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 oh, God, no, no, no. But my brain was being fried. I felt like my insides were scrambling. I can't block it out. I'm gonna throw up. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Can you... Several minutes later, I opened my eyes, still hunched over. Well, you suddenly got my attention. How about this? What do you think, Sushi? <laughs> it was pretty good, huh? Sorry. I'm sorry, Kiva. I don't think I can follow your music career. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? No. Kiva, your singing was terrible. I couldn't take it. Really? Wh what? Was it really that bad? Hmm. Yes, I don't think you should sing for people anymore. But Oh no, does that mean I can't become a pop star? Ugh. Uh, wait, Kibo, that's it. You can play music, right? Why don't you just do that? If you just pretended to sing and play the song through your mouth... I can't! I can't do that! Ugh. What? I'm disappointed in you! It's an illogical compromise, Yuichi. Please understand, my eyes are a reflection of the human desire for greater understanding. So I must experience the hardship of training. The easy path will only hinder my progress. So if one possesses an ultimate level talent... Even that talent should not be a crutch, but a stepping stone to reach an even greater height. That's fair enough. You have a long ass way to go, though. Good luck with that. Good goddamn luck with that. Cuba gave me a dressing down, and I returned to my room. I never thought the day would come when a robot would preach to a human. <laughs> come to think of it, we didn't even come to a conclusion about his robot business. Well, I guess we, if I have two more free times, uh, I can get to the bottom of that, in a way. Huh, okay. Uh -huh, Ultimate the Academy, time this again. Is Nighttime killers. has begun. Killers, you chance to strike victims, you have my condolences. Like is it like a baby tonight or sleep with the witches? Either way, sweet dreams. He didn't actually say that out loud, and I just spoke over it, did I? Huh. It's night time. I would, I would have been training, but then we got the ding-dong we heard from earlier. Huh. Hmm. I guess I'll save here. And if it throws me straight into the key of love thing. I'm just basing this on my recording time. I'll probably start that next episode. I'm gonna go out in a not so limmy limb limb and say Maki. Yep. Got a minute? Do you have a minute? Hmm. Maki, what's wrong? Well... I know asked me earlier to show my research lab. 
Well, that makes it uh, nice and obvious, doesn't it? Huh? huh? You're a lab. <sighs> I might as well show him since I know he won't take no for an answer. So you have to come too. Okay. She wants me to go. Maki invited me, so I should go. Ha 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 ha. Great. Oh, hi, Samugi. Um, Samugi, what are you looking up at the sky for? Oh, Shuichi, I was just looking at the stars a little. I remembered something Yonta said before. What did Yonta say? Yeah. Remember after Kurumi's trial? Oh, was that when he was, like, curing Himiko? Oh, that she mentioned it. No, that would have been after the other one. What's wrong, Yonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? Just even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. Stars are different. Not the same one to go into used to. Actually, hmm. I was just thinking the stars really are pretty. I can't tell the difference, so but I, uh, since I don't usually look at them, but they're pretty. That reminds me. I've forgotten this feeling. All the horrible things happening, I was always looking You're down. Right. I need to thank Yonta. You're right. You're right. Hey. hey, do you want to join me, Shuichi? Sorry. Ah, oh, sorry. There's something I have to take care I of. See. Oh, okay. I see. Well, I'll stay here a little bit while, uh, while longer then. Hmm, the stars being different. So there's a few possible implications from that. One is the possibility that we're in a different part of the world and we're like just in a completely different place. Two, I'd almost say like the whole spaceship thing. But in a sense, that also wouldn't make sense. Because how would we have day? And if they're just projecting stuff up in there for the day, then why show the stuff at night and not just project it then as well? Hmm. It could also mean the moon thing, where it's not so much just like in a random place, because that could have cycles that could create the impression of day and night, but... Shuichi. It's already nighttime, Shuichi. What are you doing up and about at this hour? Okay. I promise I'd, uh, promise I'd meet, up, uh, meet up with Maki. I see. Well, well, I have no intention of strictly upholding a curfew. Perhaps it's uh, an old habit from my time on the student council, but I feel like I had to ask. <laughs> That was only a few days ago. Yeah, it hasn't been that long. It's been like, what, a week? Since, uh, that trial, even? It was like before the sitting council with Angie's ages ago. Yeah, a lot of things happened since then. We haven't had a moment to relax. Um, you know, except for all those free time events. At any rate, please be careful. Being out during night time could result in another murder. Especially now. We don't even know Kikichi's whereabouts. You're right. You're right. I'll be careful. Hmm. I'd almost say that he's hiding in the virtual world, but at the same time, that doesn't make any sense on its own. Uh, by itself either. Because we could just find him in the computer room. Again, he could just be in his room. I don't really see what the problem with that one is. That possibility. Okay. I forgot how many layers there were here. Ah, oh, sorry, Malay. Huh? Uh, okay. Oh, so you came soon. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, Kaido. How dare I? Silence. Uh, as if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki started up a conversation. What are you trying to pull? Why didn't you ask to see my research lab so suddenly, Kaido? Ah. Well, if I, I just want to see what kind of weapons were here. Yeah, that's definitely not suspicious. What? What? Why would he want to see my what? You know, but, wow, there's a ton of stuff here. Can you use all these, Maguro? Yes, more or less. He's changing the conversation, genius. It's so obvious. So. Huh. Haven't seen that blur in a while. But there's no swords of here of any kind. Japanese or Western, right? That's true. I don't use swords of any type. Not after I bought uh, Mission of the Katana. Hmm. hmm, I see. Either way, I don't feel like weapons uh, really suit women. Uh, okay. Hey. Care to explain why you see my, uh, why you wanted to see my weapons? Ah. Didn't I tell you this morning? I got a plan figured out. We're all gonna commit seppuku. And that's why I'm asking about swords. Oh, what's this uh, in that black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaido headed to the far bookcase. <sighs> so... What's in it? This is some kind of weaponry. Ring? If you want to know, why don't you just open it? 
Hmm, let's see. And then kind of pulled something out from the black case. Oh, what's this? It's a bunch of parts. Oh, so like archery? Looks like- oh, it looks like a crossbow to be assembled. Huh. I see. It's a disassembled crossbow. Mm. Huh. So, when you put them together, they become a crossbow. Ha, <laughs> looks interesting. Say, Makiro, can you teach me how to put it together? Oh my goodness, you're not even trying to hide it very well! Sure, it's so obvious! Whatever. Sure, I don't mind. You're enabling him, Maki! Are you just, like, denying what he's clearly having- Put this... and this together. Um... like this? And then, put that other part in the opposite way. <sighs> Wait, that's wrong. No, that's wrong! Oh, my bad. It goes this way. Mm-hmm. Then next, it's... While watching these two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. Oh. Kaido was struggling while Maki gave him instructions. Eventually, they succeeded putting together a crossbow. Ah, uh, game, stop shipping them! Oh. Whoa, since I built it, it became an extra cool crossbow. So it doesn't even matter who builds it, though. That's right. I think it's a bit complicated. It seems it's a bit complicated, but I think I can do it by myself next time. Hey. Suichi, do you want to learn too? No. Uh, no, that's all right. I sort of understand just from watching, anyways. Hmm. Let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the steps. Are you serious? Wait, do I have to do it? That's right. Who else is going to do My it? Bad. Uh, yeah, sorry. I, I, I don't feel too good again. What? Huh? Seems like I'm not 100%, so I'm gonna go back first. Right. You lazy mother for hey. You lazy mother Oh, God, I'll help you, Maki. Ignoring Maki trying to stop him, kind of fled the room. Uh, was he just expecting you to ask why he even wanted to see the weapons? Let's just say it's so fucking obvious what he's planning. Uh, it's not gonna get us out of here, though. So if we go down to Himiko, Maki, me, and Sumugi, presumably he's uh, meaning to kill Kaido and then sacrifice himself so we can get out of here quicker. Somehow, I, I don't know. He's never really had much, he's never been much of a planned person. He's been all just hoopla, like the guy to rally the troops even though he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Jeez. I knew he wasn't the type to clean up, but I never thought he'd run away with a crappy lie. Annoying. How frustrating. He's the worst. Well. Ah, uh, well, that's just Kaido. <sighs> You're the worst, too. What? What did I do? Huh? Well. I'm sure I know. You know why I invited you, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I do. You're trying to get Kaido and I to make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. But. But I. I just don't know what to say to him. I know Joyce. Go and die. If I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I. I don't think that it'd be right to apologize for that. Hey! I'm sorry, Maki. I just need more time. Uh, I really didn't realize you two would require such high maintenance. Sorry. Uh, sorry. But now that she mentions it, I didn't realize it earlier. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you, Maki. Oh, you don't gotta look so peeved about being thanked. <laughs> In the end, I was the one who ended up disassembling the crossbow. After I had uh, finished, I returned to my room. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. The academy's full of mysteries, and now I'm worried about Kokichi. And then there's the thing with me and Kaido. All right. I need to make up for uh, make up with them, for us and for Maki. Let's do it for Maki. I fell asleep thinking about it. <coughs> uh, more coughing. Damn it. Why? Why now? Why me? Damn it. I'm running out of time. I can't die like this. Like hell am I gonna die here? Yeah, you really do have all you have a lot of choice in that, don't you? I, I still 
haven't gone to, to space. What are the goddamn chances we're... You know what? I'm calling it now. We're in a goddamn spaceship, and he's been in space this entire time. He's just gonna die not realizing it. So he have achieved his dream, and he wouldn't even fucking know. I'm calling it right goddamn now. Goddamn. Where's the key of the thing? Recklessness is a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful. I want to print the. I want to print the words "reckless beauty" on a T-shirt. Because recklessness is the stuff that dreams are made of. It's what makes you run at full speed, no regard for your limitations. It's what makes you excited by anything. Uh, some say it's foolish, but recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. And while you're still alive, live your life uh, so recklessly that it makes you immortal. And if haters hit laugh at you, then let them. They just don't appreciate reckless beauty like you do. Well, that was. Reckless. Oh, here shouldn't be asleep on the job. It's pathetic. Yeah. What? Good morning, unless it's technically light. Do you feel well rested anyway? Huh? Monokuma. Yeah. Nice face, Yuichi. You definitely look your best in the morning. Too bad. You look better, though. I'm pretty picky about people's morning faces. Hmm. What are you doing here? How rude. My time is very valuable, you know. Since you fell asleep so clutching the love key, I went on my way to come wake you. I really wish you were more appreciative. Uh, love um, key. Oh, you mean this thing I won at the casino? Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. I'll teach you how to use it. Huh? How to use it? <laughs> that key opens the, up the way to a very special place. A place you might have seen in the vicinity of the casino. Hints, hints. Alright, that building. I suppose it would have that kind of key. Mm -hmm. It looks like you figured it out. A healthy teenager's uh, brain is supposed to be obsessed with sex and lust. Now then. That key uh, you got there should help you clear out some of those carnal desires. Uh -huh. Huh? huh? Oh, are you starting to get worked up? Are you really ready, uh, ready to just let it all hang out? Now then, please read the instructions. It's time for the talk. The love key talk. This is the key you use to unlock the love suite. When night follows you and the other person who will be invited to the... You and uh, one other person will be invited to Love Suite. There, you'll be part of that person's fantasy. They will see you as their ideal and basically just swoon all over you. Think of it as a kind of dream. It lets you escape this cruel, cruel dark reality. Uh, that's why it's so important to play the role of the person who uh, wants you. If you uh, do something that breaks character, the other person will wake up in anguish. And what happens there stays there. Memories are wiped when you exit. It's like a one-night stand within a dream. Probably best that you both forgot. <laughs> ah, then that's it. Stay safe, enjoy. Huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, you seem skeptical. Why don't you try it out for yourself, then? Go ahead, take the love key for a spin. Huh. <laughs> now then, forward, let's Joey. take a... Let love take hold of you. I'll make you... Uh, it'll make you sweeter than a bear's honey pot. Huh. Huh. I watched Monokuma bounce away, stunned. The key felt heavy in my hands. <sighs> I suppose it couldn't hurt. Okay. Well, I can't save at this point. <laughs> so I'll just, um, reload, I suppose. Later. Uh, but this is where I'm going to end it, and I'm probably going to be doing a number of these next time. I'll see you all next time. So they effort one. Two. He is all that remains of a once powerful yokai. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure, yokai.